welcome to another video. Today is the top speed run on the Honda 250R. Um, I know everyone's been waiting for this video. I've gotten tons of comments saying do top speed, do top speed. So today is the day and I saw a lot of comments said that because the wheels were different PSI, that's why it wanted to pull to one side. So I'm going to try, try to pump the tires to the right PSI on both sides and see if that evens it out a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in the middle of the road because I notice the road kind of angles down on this side and then down on that side, kind of like that. So if you're off to this side, it will tip that way. And if you're off to that side, it will tip that way. So I'm going to try to go down right down the middle of the road and see if we can get a good top speed. Otherwise, it's super sketch. And uh, I don't know, it's just pretty sketchy going top speed in this thing, not going to lie. Um, the front wheel lifts up in every gear. So you kind of have to lean forward, and there's no there's no back brake. So if you give it too much, you're pretty much done. You can't do anything. And then you try to put your feet down to stop it, and then you get sucked underneath. So um, having that having no back brake is pretty tough. Um, anything else we have to go over before I do this top speed? Uh, runs perfect, drives perfect. A lot of people said I had the choke on last time. I was riding it. I did not have the choke on. Um, I turned that off before I went. So, um, yeah, so we're going to take this thing for a top speed run. I'm going to put the GoPro on. We're going to put the, the phone right here with the speedometer app. Hopefully that gives us an accurate reading. Uh, let's see how much gas we got going on. You can hear it, so that's enough. Um, so first thing we're going to do is pump up the tires. Even the front one, probably, too. That one seems pretty good. Uh, and just check for anything loose on it before I do this top speed test. Wheels. I'm going to check these bolts right here, just so uh, they don't fly off going to half speed. That would really suck. Everything else looks pretty good, just the front wheel. We'll check that bolt, and then we'll be good to go. The chain looks pretty good. Um, it's not too loose or anything, so I shouldn't have that problem. So I guess all that's left to do is take it for a top speed test. Should be super interesting. Uh, write down your guesses in the comments below how fast you think this beast is going to go. Um, I'm going to guess, hmm, 72, 72 miles per hour. That's my final guess. Everyone else, write your comments below. If you get it right, good for you. And, uh, I guess we're going to switch to GoPro right now. Looks like we're rolling. I'm gonna go set up this camera here quick. And we'll be on our way. Already got the three wheeler warming up. Just have to put this camera up here, right here. All right, let's start this bad boy up. <laughs> Let this beast warm up for a while. Let's get the DigiHUD app going. All right, we got this going. Let's see here. DigiHUD right there, boys. Oh yeah, the speedometer is working. That's always good. Go by the camera there. Fifteen, thirteen, fourteen.
see if this app is working. Should be interesting. Let this warm up for a tiny bit more. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Go in the middle of the road. How fast that was. Felt so, like the tires were grabbing kind of weird. That was 60 miles per hour right there. Whew, hands are cold. Hands are very cold. I'm gonna go put some gloves on. how fast that was. Whew. My hands are freezing. Warm my hands up. This thing probably goes like 75, 80 if it really was flying. Let's see what we got for top speed now. Kind of exited out of it. Looks like 65. Let's see here. Oh, statistics. 62. That's not too bad. I mean, what, I mean, what do you expect when it's not running right? That top speed, it, it could be a lot better if it was uh, actually going correctly. So we'll go one more round. Just make sure the choke is off here quick. Yeah, choke is off, so here we go. Three, two, one. See what we got for speed now. Sixty-four. Let's see here. It's kind of wobbly. I 
I mean, this is pretty fast for not running right. 64, I can't complain. That is not too shab, considering it's kind of running weird and stuff. So, not too disappointed in that. Oh man, my hands are so cold though. So, that was uh, the top speed in that bad boy. As you guys could hear, it was kind of like cutting out at top speed. I think it maybe is needs to maybe needs a uh, carb clean or something, because um, something's a little bit strange with it. I don't know what it needs, or the tires might be off in alignment, which it's like catching and then making the the RPMs go down. I have no idea. Um, the motor is strong, starts up easily. Um, I'll have to get a compression tester and test the compression on it. But I think it just had a rebuild, so should be good to go. Um, 64 is top speed in this bad boy. Um, not as fast as I expected. Obviously, I wanted to hit like 75, but what can you do? Uh, I guess that's top speed, so we'll talk about with the camera here right now. Right, so ended up with the top speed of 64.44 or something like that, which is pretty good. Can't complain. Um, considering it runs kind of weird at top speed, but it's fast enough and uh, I'll get it tuned up and I'll work on it a little bit and see what we can do. But yeah, that was pretty fun. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. Um, more to come on this beast. I'm going to take it on the ice here pretty soon. So look forward to that video. Also, I'm working the, on the Quadzilla, getting that thing tuned up for summer. So lots of stuff happening. Um, follow my Instagram at underscore vintage underscore. To follow my Instagram, I do behind the scenes. So when I pick up something new, uh, right away I post it on Instagram. So you'll catch all the behind the scenes on two underscore vintage underscore. Also, go check out Chuck's channel at two vintage T O O, two vintage shoe. My camera doesn't like this cold weather. Battery just died again on it. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. More to come in this beast. Um, probably gonna clean out the carb here check the reeds, um, check the compression here, and upgrade those parts that I wanted to. Probably gonna keep this for a while. And like I said before, probably gonna take it out on the ice today, so look forward to that video. And the Quadzilla is running great again too. I'm gonna post a video on that coming up here. And lots to look forward to, um, lots of stuff in the making. So stay tuned for future videos. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, we are out.